homosexual waiter awarded 21 and a half thousand pounds after harassment by restaurant bosses a homosexual waiter had his nipples tweaked by a customer at a restaurant and then he placed in a discrimination claim he said that um, he was basically there were two male managers who simulated sexual acts in front of him um, and then there was the situation with the his nipples being tweaked by a customer and then saying to him did you like it now these kind of lawsuits where people are taking events uh, that are happening to them and making a big thing out of it and you know suing people and being awarded large sums of money and then getting broadcasted in the news for people to see creates a perception in people's minds that the value of small things such as having one's nipples tweaked is within whatever context you place it a big problem and should give you a large sum of money when in our reality actually every day I mean that same guy who had his nipples tweak probably has secret mind thoughts about other people sexually so he will for example see a man or a woman walk past and he will have a sexual thought about them undressing them in his mind you know having fantasy ideas about how to have sex with a person and you know those kind of things are not addressed within our society because nobody sees each other's thoughts but the minute that somebody will allow a point to go too far even a small point like that where there's any money involved people will allow small things to be turned into big things for the sake of money and it just shows you how we have become a society where everything we do is because of money and because of greed so you know it eventually it if you look at it for yourself the possibility for people to sue each other over random nonsense has become so convenient I mean like in this case now where he was awarded this large sum of money it it sets the example for people to start finding any reason to sue each other and any reason to exploit each other because of money so it it is really setting the president here for absolute abuse of each other in the name of the money system and the capitalist system exists based on exploitation I mean the movement of money exists based on who can exploit who who can sell a product to who the best even though products don't last I mean look at it for yourself let's take these two following examples products are made to not last firstly so that's the first problem that we're looking at here within the capitalist system is the deception of the capitalist system exists on products that don't last is deliberately done so that more money moves secondly this this court case here the law is now protecting and encouraging the movement of money by allowing such frivolous you know cases to go through where anybody can actually sue anybody for anything yet the common sense in the entire situation is that if we were to sue each other for gra grabbing a nipple or touching a bum or even flirting somebody flirting with me or somebody you know looking at you in a provocative way can you imagine how many lawsuits there would eventually be I mean literally we would be suing each other every second of every day and basically it's now become a matter of if you can get away with it and you can find a lawyer who will find a loophole who will find some small law somewhere that they can manipulate into getting your case to stand up in court so you can sue that person get your money then the lawyers are going to try and get away with it and eventually you know with the microchip and everything that is becoming more controlled 
is because people are abusing to get money and it is getting out of hand I mean that man who made the decision to sue that customer because of what he did instead of just having a police case opened against the person or having their manager you know speak to the person and kick them out of the restaurant but he went the ultimate route he thought to himself how can I in this moment make money out of this and this is the level of exploitation which is going to end up with us all ending up in trouble one day I mean eventually one day you are not going to be able to look at somebody provocatively or make a flirtatious gesture towards another person without ending up in trouble I mean if if we had to have laws against the thoughts that go on in people's minds towards other people like I could fucking kill you bastard or oh I'd like to have a piece of that ass which is mental rape towards another being if we were to actually start suing each other based on the actual things that people are allowing in their minds and the smaller nuances like for example the customer tweaked that man's nipple if we start really exploiting that point we're going to end up in trouble and this is where we're heading towards I mean people are deliberately now not using common sense not remaining self honest um, because self self responsibility would imply that we all stop deliberately now doing things and allowing the capitalist system as it exists for greed exploiting each other abusing each other you know creating products that don't last and you know um, lying to be able to sell a product and you know you know overcharging for products when you know that that you are that that's what you're busy doing and the entire capitalist system is built on deception so let us look at some ways within our own lives that we are able to stop the energetic addiction to getting money and getting things and the greed of ownership and the greed of having more money because you'll find that what you accept and allow and what I accept and allow and give permission to is getting us into trouble because eventually um, this means that with this level of exploitation they're going to bring in the microchip ultimate control will happen and nobody will be able to move without being held accountable for it and without being controlled so time for us to stop playing games and actually take responsibility for what we create and what we participate in and use the technique of breathing to stop energetic reactions to things stop creating reactions to things stop participating in ways that are um, you know could be open to interpretation by another as uh, you know being anything other than you know effective walking here in the physical where you are creating a world for yourself based on the ego and let's just find practical ways here of re-establishing ourselves and finding solutions that will best support all thank you very much